Today I will show you how to create a rain effect in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you two different and easy ways how to create rain effect in Photoshop and how to make your images even more interesting. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, today we will use this image and we will add some rain effect to it to make it even more interesting. If we zoom it a little bit, we can see some raindrops here and here, but it's not so pronounced and we will add even more raindrops to, to the image to make it even better. So first and most obvious way and the easiest way how to add the rain in Photoshop is to use a noise on a new layer and then add a motion blur to make those raindrops. So let's create a new layer and fill it with the black. If you press D on a keyboard to switch to default colors, black and white, then we can press and hold Alt or Option key on a Mac and press Backspace to fill this layer with the black color, actually with the foreground color. So now let's go to the filter, noise and add noise. I will use monochromatic noise, right? And I will use uniform or you can use Gaussian, it doesn't matter actually, I will use uniform and just add some amount of noise. This is not enough and here something around 140%, it's really nice. So next step is to select just one portion of this layer and duplicate that portion, extract that portion. So let's use marquee tool and just select something like so and now press ctrl or command j on a keyboard and now we have this portion of noise duplicated why am i doing this well because now i want to make this portion uh, bigger with ctrl or command t on a keyboard and now i'm making this noise bigger so my raindrops will be bigger let me see if i press ok you can see this noise if you compare it to this, it's much bigger and more visible. So we are looking for something like this. Maybe this is not big enough. We will see. If this is not big enough, we can always make it even bigger. So let's now duplicate this just in case we need it. And I will use this upper layer and put it in a screen blending mode to get rid of those black spots here. So screen. And now we have this crazy effect. All right. The next step is to add levels, for example, or curves and just clip it to this layer. If we go and clip those blacks, we can get rid of some amount of noise. We don't uh, need so uh, dense noise. We will get rid of some and we will have something like so. And now if I go to the this rain layer and go to the filter blur and motion blur you can see i already let's choose the angle and i already have some noise uh, actually some raindrops here right and that's pretty much okay but let me show you one trick if i uncheck this background layer and now merge everything every everything that is visible together with shift control alt e on a pc or shift command option e on a mac i will have new layer that it's same like those two with levels adjustments and bring back the background put this rain layer into screen blending mode i hope that you're following me and now go to the filter blur and motion blur i will have this nice rain effect so let me see if you can see if i zoom it these raindrops are a little bit fuzzy and if we want to get rid of that we need to blur this twice so let's blur it like so just a little bit and then again go to the filter blur motion blur and blur it again and now it's not so fuzzy and let's choose the distance of this raindrops maybe like so okay and now we can again go and add new levels adjustment layer here clip it just the rain layer and 
see the amount of rain we want to add to this image. It's something like so. We can choose with this slider, sliders, the amount of rain. Maybe we want just a few drops to add to this image, but it's not enough. Something like so. All right, and that's basically how you can add the rain with the noise. Another trick here is that you can use this uh, layer, this rain layer again, duplicate it, put it on the top and make it bigger, like much, much bigger, like so, just to add a depth to the image. Let me see. And if we uncheck this, see, now we have much bigger raindrops. And of course we can add, we can add another adjustment layers here and make that raindrops less dense, like so. And maybe to lower the opacity, why not? Something like so. And we have now bigger raindrops and smaller raindrops and so on. So on. you can play with that or you don't need to use the same layer. You can use maybe the first, the original one and duplicate that one or just put it on the top and just use a portion of it, even smaller portion like so, copy it, you don't need it anymore, make it bigger, go here, control command T, just make it a lot bigger like so, and then use filter, blur, motion blur, and let me see, something like so, and then use levels, clip it to that layer, and just, make it make it smaller like so and of course you can blur it again to get rid of those fuzziness but you don't need if you don't want and so on and so on that's the first method how you can uh, create rain in photoshop and so now let me show you another method how you can create rain in photoshop with a custom rain brush all right first let's group everything here into one group and name it rain one okay and uncheck this now let's create a new document control command n and i will use maybe 1000 by 1000 pixels okay and now i will use brush not so soft maybe around 60 percent hardness something like so let me see and normal right And I want to undo it. Okay. And now let's make some spots with 100% opacity of that brush. This is first one, second one. Just make some, some spots here. Smaller, bigger, even smaller. Just change your brush size and make some. Maybe like. So, and I like to add a lot of these small raindrops. Actually, those pots represent raindrops that we will add to our image. And if you can stop the rain, you will see raindrops in some circular shape. It's not like this, it's not like perfect circle, but we will create uh, brush in in this manner. So now that we have all those raindrops here We will go to the edit and define brush preset and let's name this rain Rain all right, and now we have rain brush. Okay, let's go back to our document here Okay, and create new layer and now if I Use a white color brush and start to add some rain. It's not really good why because we need to change some brush properties here press f5 on the keyboard and now we need to go to the spacing increase the spacing a little bit like so then go to the shape dynamics size jitter all the way up then go to the angle jitter all the way up and roundness just a little bit okay let me see the scattering maybe just a touch like so and now let's try. That's really, really nice. Now we have 
some randomness in, in our brush strokes. All right, now let's make brush a little bit smaller, like so, and just move around like so. Okay, and now if we use this layer and go to the filter blur and motion blur, you can see it's really, really nice rain effect here. And you can choose the amount of the motion blur, maybe something like so. And then you can add a new layer here and make the brush even smaller and populate the scene here like, like so. Okay. And go again to the filter blur, motion blur and choose amount of the blur of those smalls, smaller raindrops. Like, let me see. Maybe let's cancel it and first uncheck the visibility of first one just to have a better representation of this. All right, that's really nice. Maybe something like, like so. And this is really, really nice. Then we can go and make a mask on this one and use a normal brush with maybe 50% opacity and just remove some raindrops that we don't want, like so, and maybe even 20% opacity. And now we have smaller and bigger raindrops here in our scene, and that's really, really nice rain effect here. You can make even, uh, again, new layer and even smaller or bigger raindrops and just play with that, or you can duplicate the existing one and just transform it whatever you want, do play with that, change the opacity, etc, etc. So let me see if I group this into a rain number two. All right, we have this kind of rain and we have this kind of rain. You can choose the effect that you like and that suits best for your scene. Another thing what you can do here with the rain, it's uh, no matter which effect you choose to create the rain, you can go and create a new layer and use a regular brush, really soft one, 0% hardness, and put the mode of blending mode of the brush to dissolve, all right? And use some small opacity around 10 or 20%, smaller brush and just paint like around here, just to create that kind of effect that rain it's, um, hitting the, the, the edge of umbrella and maybe here like so. And of course you can go and blur that with the motion blur or Gaussian blur. It depends of style you want to achieve. See, maybe just touch like so. And now we have a fact that the rain is hitting something right, uh, those edges of umbrella and the handle here. Of course you can make that even better with more patience here. And of course you can create some uh, custom shape rain brushes. It doesn't need to be a perfect circle. You can create some uh, like raindrop uh, brush for, for this rain or some other shapes, uh, some maybe rectangular or square, or I don't know, try experiment. You will see that uh, different brush creates really a specific effect of the rain when you blur it. So that's about that. So let me let me show you one more example what is really interesting when you want to uh, populate your scene with the rain. Let's go to next image. For example, this is the image of some castle and the road and we want to make this scene like it's a rainy day. And if we go back to this image and choose some rain here, for example, this one and move it actually Let's move it to this scene here. And now it is pretty much okay, but what is missing here, it's it's not so realistic because we don't have a wet, wet floor, actually wet uh, road here. And I will show you now really easy and powerful way how to create that effect to make this scene even more realistic. Let's just rotate this rain in this direction because I like it and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, like so. Now let's uncheck this rain and let's duplicate our background layer. Control Command J. 
press Control command T and right click flip vertical. We want this and we want to lower the opacity a little bit and we want to put this like so. Then I will use warp tool and warp this a little bit here and align those edges with the building and let me see this part something like so it's not bad and that's really nice but as you can see here we don't want uh, we don't want this to be as a mirror completely everything visible we want some parts of the building here visible and some parts invisible like in a real situation so to do that we will create a new layer d on a keyboard press d on a keyboard to uh, swap to default um, uh, colors here and just go to filter render and clouds and we have some clouds here if you don't like the shape of the clouds you can press again Control command f on a keyboard to repeat that effect and every time will be some randomization here in the effect right i like maybe this kind of effect and now i want to make a mask out of these clouds to put it on this background copy layer how to do that well it's really easy just when you have those clouds on the screen go to the channels here and control or command click on the rgb channel like so and just go right here and create a mask okay hide this uh, cloud layer like so and we have this layer here with this mask so now we will press Control or command t and put this oops sorry we need first to uncheck this chain icon between the layer and the mask because we want to affect only the mask not the layer now we want to press Control command t and make this smaller like so put it down change the perspective maybe right here like so press ok and then we can go here to select the mask and press Control command l on a keyboard to activate our levels and just make this even more visible let me show you something like so and with a black brush and maybe 50 percent opacity just slowly paint out some parts that we don't need for from this mask okay and now you can see it's like it's really reflection from the water here on the road and if you turn on the rain it's much 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 better of course you can create a custom rain for, for this scene because now this uh, those raindrops are too big let me uncheck this big one and maybe duplicate this and make some of them smaller put it here and we can copy that and just have fun with that right and that's another really nice and fun effect to create let me show you this is before and this is after let's delete those clouds before and after you have really nice and realistic rain effect and those reflection on the road Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. This is really easy and powerful way how to create rain in Photoshop and how to make your images even more interesting and to add some dynamics to your images. Of course, you can achieve much better effect than I did today if you spend a little bit more time tweaking that uh, raindrop, tweaking the rain to better fit your scene and make some custom rain brushes for your work. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.